I'm Susan Smith of Stitched by Susan. My husband Dave and I are hosting a cruise in January of 2025 in the Caribbean, and we're bringing quilt artists Beth Ann Nemesh and Sam Alberts along with us. And as we've been dreaming about this cruise for a couple of years, we've known that we want to endeavor to make it a deeper and a richer experience than only some tropical sewing fun, although those are great things too. But we want to support women who are growing in their hobby, who are perhaps business building, and who maybe are trying to create a lasting impact wherever they're living. So knowing that quilters as a whole are such generous and community-minded people, we have invited Courtney Kimball of One Common Thread to join us on the cruise. Courtney has such an amazing story of offering a helping hand to other women. Let's hear directly from her. Hey everybody, my name is Courtney Kimball. I started One Common Thread and I'm super excited to tell you about it today because it really has become my passion. My husband moved our family down to San Pedro Sula, Honduras and we took six of our nine children with us and so I stayed in the apartment most of the first year just homeschooling the kids. We would go down and swim. We would do all kinds of things but really not interact too much with anybody outside of our complex. After about a year my husband came back and said I need to um, be here probably two more years. So we decided to stay and I really, I decided that I needed to change my attitude and also um, try to see if there was a way I could help. And I kind of fell into things with one common thread. I had a young woman at church who, who approached me and asked me for a way to make $5. I did not know what to ask or have her do, but I was working on a quilt, a quilt a lot like this one here. This is a hexagon paper pieced and I was working on a quilt for my oldest daughter for her wedding. And so I said, okay, why don't you go home and make me some of these pieces of hexagons so that I can sew them together. Scarlett took the papers home. We did a little tutorial in my car and she made 500 of these little hexagons. And I paid her $20 and she was amazed because it had only taken her a few hours to get that done. So the very next day, Scarlett's mom called me her cousins called me, her aunts called me, everybody was asking if they could sew. And right away we got the women all um, started with sewing. And I called my sister in the States and I said, how can we market this? How can we sell this? I really saw um, a potential here of not just handing out items, but trying to help these women with giving them employment. They wanted steady income. They wanted a way where they could make money and stay home and take care of their children. And that's the whole reason we started One Common Thread. Isn't Courtney's story wonderful? I'm so looking forward to meeting her in real life and the opportunity to hear individual stories of some of the makers that she works with and have that opportunity to support them. So you can check out Courtney's work at onecommonthread.org or on all the socials. She's One Common Thread everywhere. So have a look. She's got some photographs and again, some very great individual stories that she posts regularly. So I encourage you to check that out. We invite you to join us on the cruise. Again, this is just an opportunity for quilters to support each other, to form some lasting relationships and bonds, and to also find ways to make a difference in the world we live in.